The past few months, we've covered lots of different ways to clone your voice and then use that cloned voice to do your own AI cover song, switching your voice out for whatever the original singer's voice was. In the past, we've been using a couple of tools at least to get that accomplished. One tool to do the actual voice cloning and model building, and another tool to do the conversion. One of the tools that I featured here a lot is a free tool called Replay, and I'm featuring it again now because recently they added the ability to train a model within the program. So you don't have to use another instance of RBC or any other model building interface to be able to do this. Just one program, all for free. If you're not familiar with Replay, you can download it here and it is available on various platforms, Mac and Windows and Linux. There are some known issues and common complaints when it comes to installing Replay. And one of the main ones is that it seems to stall or break. As I said in my last video, the fact of the matter is it just takes a long time to download and extract all the various models that are required. So depending on the speed of your computer and your internet connection, it could take a while and it does sometimes look like it's hanging up. And if you're updating Replay, like we're about to do here, you're going to get faced with the same issue because they make you re-download the models every time you update the program. I'm not sure why that is unless they're actually changing the models. If they're not changing the models, I'd appreciate not having to download them every single time. So today we're going to use Replay to clone my voice and then switch out a song that we create using Udio, who has also just recently done an update to extend their first generation of song out to two minutes, which leads to a lot more coherency and a lot of saved time. So we'll be using that to create the song. In my case, I think I'm due for an update on this particular machine, so when I run Replay, yep, there it is. New update available. Would you like to download it now? I click on Yes. When you run the installer or the updater, you're going to get this message, and I get a lot of complaints about this, or at least a lot of questions. This is something that I've seen throughout the course of my history online, when independent developers create software that doesn't go through whatever Microsoft deal they need to go through, to get certified or whatever. Can you tell I know what I'm talking about? Here's the thing. I've never had a problem with these things. If I ever see this pop up on my screen, I want to make sure that the software that I'm installing has been around a while and we've had time to see complaints if there is actually something malicious going on. In this case, it's perfectly safe. So you just click on more info and you click run anyway and go through this process. You'll need to close your running instance of replay for this to work, obviously. That part of the installation isn't the part that takes the time. It's when you run replay and it starts to download the models. AI server update, blah, 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 download. Now you'll see it's fetching 74 different files and of those 74 files, many of them are compressed and they have to decompress. So they have to extract all those files and then go through the installation process. So you can be sitting here for some time and you'll think it's gotta be broken. It's gotta be broken. It's not broken. Just be patient. We are now at the decompressing final zip and this might take a while. And it does. In the meantime, let's go to Udio and write our song. Here on the front page of Udio, they are telling us about their new two minute model and other features like being able to set a seed so that you can duplicate your results over and over with just making changes. So if you are a subscriber to Udio and haven't looked at this yet or are considering it, you might go check this out. We won't get into it now because this really isn't an in-depth Udio demonstration. I really just want to create a song that it's going to be easy for me to switch my voice out for the purposes of this demonstration. So I want to create something with a voice that's somewhat similar to mine. I'm not going to do a female voice and then try and change it out. I'll do a male voice. One of the things I've never done on any of these demos is to do a rap because the model that I'm going to be creating is not going to be based on my singing voice. It's going to be based on my speaking voice. And so maybe rapping would be a more appropriate approach for this. But technically, it's really no different than switching out for a singing voice. So if you're more interested in switching out a singing voice, you can do that too. I've never actually prompted for a rap. So how about a rap song about? People give me such a hard time about the topics I come up with because it's always about kittens or getting in trouble with a relative or I don't know what. But what am I going to do? Write a love song? A rap song about love of cats. We can click real quick on the advanced features and see where all this prompt strength, lyric strength, seed, all these things. You can choose quality over speed here and this clip start feature becomes particularly helpful when you're doing the extension feature which again we're not doing that today we're going to click on create and see what kind of rap i get about the love of cats now hopefully udio did some wizardry to my prompt because that's a pretty boring prompt in terms of musical style so normally it fleshes it out a little bit i didn't click manual mode so i did give it that creative freedom come on well i can tell you it is not generating its longer songs as fast as suno did we did a video 
few days ago about Suno's new update to four minutes, and it was generating songs like this, and I've been waiting. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Okay, let's check out the first one, Feline Rhapsody. That's not a rap. That's not a rap. Not a rap. She the type of cat, make me chase it. No cash flow, but the furs where my heart sat independent. No league for a playmate. Fix my tough days with a soft gaze. Walks like a queen in every scene. Got the claws out, but the love keen. Walks like a queen in every scene. Got the claws out, but the love keen. Okay, works for me. We don't need to belabor this. I'm going to download this. Just need the audio. Rooftop perfections. And now let's go check out what's going on with Replay. We appear to be all done and installed. So the first thing I like to do when I get back into Replay is make sure that the server is running because sometimes, depending on which computer I'm using, it doesn't always run automatically and I have to do it manually. But as I scroll down here, if it says select a song, that means you're ready to go. But if it says server not running, well, that means the server's not running. And all you have to do is go up under app and click on where it will say start server instead of stop. So we need to train our model. So go click on train a model. The model is going to be named Bob Narration. You'll see why in a moment. The training data I have already put in a file in a directory and it is called Bob Doyle Narration. It is 17 minutes and 23 seconds of me reading in a high quality studio. Here's what it sounds like. This video was created to give you a high level understanding to establish final costs or CEO who are manager or nurse manager around. not giving up while they're tired. All right, so you get it. I'm doing my announcer stuff. All right, so that's what it's going to basically sound like. And so when we play the model back, that's the voice that's going to be rapping. That should be interesting or very boring. All I need to do is drag this file right here. Now, you can have multiple files or you can actually record straight from here. And if the files have music on them, for example, if you wanted to train a voice from recorded songs and get the singer's voice under settings, you would make sure that this is not clicked pre-stemmed, which means that the vocals have not been removed. In my case, it is pre-stemmed because it's just me reading. I'm going to leave everything else here. It has detected my NVIDIA card, so it's going to use CUDA, or the faster way to do this. I'm not recording anything right now, but if I were, I could just choose whatever microphone input I have, and I just click Create Model. That is super simple. All the other ways I've showed you involve going into different settings in an RVC interface and changing this, that, and the other thing to make it happen. This is one click. Now, it will take just a bit of time. The downside to this method is there's no way to see what's going on that I know of. I've looked under here. It says view logs, but they're not real time. They're just files, and I don't want to do it that way. Because we chose auto epoch, which is basically a segment of the training, we don't even know what the total number of epochs is going to be. So going over here and looking at this limited amount of data that they're giving us, that it is training epoch number four, doesn't really tell us how much longer we can expect it to be. Generally speaking, these things can go anywhere between 50 epochs to 200 epochs. And if I don't like the quality of this, then I would redo it again, and I would turn this off and choose a higher number. But a higher number of epoch doesn't necessarily mean higher quality, so it's a little bit of trial and error still. So we will come back when it is done. Let's see what the log says. No jobs running. That means it should be done. Now I can go create a new AI cover. I'm going to drop that song on here. Rooftop Perfection. I am going to go to settings and turn off pre-stemmed because I actually want it to do the separation for me. Leave the relative pitch the same. Choose Bob Narration as the model. See if there's anything else I might need to change. I don't think so. Let's click on Create Song. So now it's doing the track separation. Now it's loading the model to do the conversion. It all happens very fast. Changing voice, we're gonna have it in seconds. Here we go. See the type of cat made me chase it. No cash flow, but the spurs when my heart sat independent. No need for a playmate. Fix my tough days with a soft gaze. Okay, I can hear that that's my voice, but I don't know if you can or not because the inflection, the dialect is still in there. It's just the vocal quality. Walks like a queen in every scene. Got a pause out, but with love keen. Walks like a queen. Just to see, let's have it convert something that's a little bit more musical, maybe. Let's see if I've got one of these older ones that I did that I can remix. This is a 1905 song. So I think we're probably okay. Choose Bob Narration, separating the track, which is give my regards to Broadway. And let's see if my voice is a little more recognizable with this one. <laughs> Did you ever see through 
ain't me. Walk, walk, walk up. It's hard to tell because it's so high. Now I'm going to adjust the relative pitch down an octave. It is a little low, it's out of the range, and that's why we get that artifacting. Let's just isolate the voice and not hide it with music, and let's convert a spoken file, because that's really apples to apples here. I'll clear this out. I'm just going to choose an audio file of my friend Rob, and this is what the original sounds like. He was five foot nothing. He was maybe five one, and he was about 100 pounds, and he was the 98-pound wrestling champ in the state of Wisconsin. So let's just drag it over, drop it, test it. He was five foot nothing. He All right, now let's convert it. Oh, I should have clicked on pre-stemmed because it's trying to do a track separation, which it doesn't need to do. We'll see how it sounds, and if it sounds bad, I'll do it again without that. Here we go. This is Goofball Demo. I've still got it set for relative pitch way too low. Let's put it at zero. Now, normally with Rob, I do have to make some adjustment because his voice is a little bit higher than mine. Let's just see what it does here without changing the relative pitch at all. He was five foot nothing. He was maybe five one, and he was about 100 pounds. See, that's a little bit high. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to lower it just maybe five and run it again. He was five foot nothing. He was maybe five one, and he was about 100 pounds, and he was the 98-pound wrestling champ in the state of Wisconsin. So this. All right, so that's totally me. It's just still got his dialect. Smallest weight class he was state champ in wrestling so what he could do from a physics point of view like he he backed down from no one so we've got a good voice model we just need to find a better sample of a song to use let's go back to udio and do a 40s crooner male solo song about love and loss no kittens after these messages we'll be right back how we doing it really takes a while. Really? Come on! It ain't fast, boys and girls. Hello. Man, I am growing old waiting for this. This is taking entirely too long. But what are you going to do? Ah, here we go. All right, darling. Hello. Goodbye. Why do I see no lyrics here? No play button here. How about this one? Every time we part, I can't help but yearn you my heart won't retreat though our love's bittersweet for i can't stop this song we always knew no 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 this one got anything yet gonna miss our laughter gonna miss you dearly that is not a 40s crooner male solo on any level. All right, you're going to force me to use a name. 40s jazz ballad in the style of Frank Sinatra about love and loss. No kittens. Create and wait forever. Still working on it. Time to cue the Mr. Bean Jeff where he's waiting in the field. What's the deal? I'm gonna run out of film. Prompt edited. Oh yeah, because you didn't give me a 40s crooner, so I had to use the name. M male vocalist traditional pop. Oh, you better give me what I'm looking for or I'm going right to Suno. I should have done anyway. I could have been done by now four times over. Trying to give Udio the benefit of the doubt because they got the new update and this is how... Okay, we got one, I think. Shadows in the sand. Nope, no play button yet. Well, we're having a moment, aren't we? Udio and I. It's okay, I'll just wait for Blur of Heartache to finish. Any second now. Yeah. I don't know, maybe Shadows in the Sand is ready? Yes. I still recall the way you'd hold my hand It lingers on like shadows in the sand I've let you go, but then a scent, a song, it takes me back where I belong. Okay, that's close. We do have background singers to contend with. Let's listen to the second one here. Blur of Heartache. Without you, life, a blur. Take my heart. I cannot feel it. 
Take my soul, I won't conceal it. Take my lips, I'll never use it. Hopeless if I can hold. That's what we're using. All right, so I'm downloading that big bad mama. I don't know why I said that. Okay, replay, here we come. Bob narration is still chosen. I drag blur heartache in there. Make sure that pre-stemmed is not selected because it needs to separate it out. And we will keep the relative pitch at zero and click create song. Without you, life, a blur. Take my heart, I cannot feel it. Take my soul, I won't conceal it. Yeah, that's me. Oh, bless if I can hold. So inspired right now. I showed you a variety of ways to create that model and then use it inside of Replay for a variety of results. Your model should match what you're doing. Mine was a narration model, would be much better suited for speaking, but it works fine with the right song where the voice is in the right range. That's a very important part of this whole model thing. It doesn't automatically magically work for everything. Ideally, the model should be trained in the same basic vocal range as the original singer. Of course, you have the ability to change the pitch and make those adjustments, and a lot of times it works great, but sometimes it doesn't. And there are so many things that go into that. But if you want to get started with AI voice conversion and only use one tool that's free, I highly recommend Replay if you can just be patient enough to get through the installation or update process. If this is the kind of information you like to learn more about, well, why not subscribe to the channel? It's absolutely free of charge, and this is the kind of stuff we cover almost all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will...